Those of you that watch this channel will know that the odds of no deal at the end of the EU transition period, the end of, of course, of the UK EU negotiations, now said to be as high as 70% for no deal as these negotiations go on. And as I've said before, the EU, there seems to be a sense of panic, and that seems to be backed up by a report from The Telegraph saying that the EU's chief Brexit negotiator, Michel Barnier, is set to be sidelined by EU leaders in a bid to get a breakthrough in the negotiations about a trade deal with the UK. Representative of the bloc's 27 member states expect EU Commission President Ursula von der Leyen, the President of the EU Commission, to pave the way for heads of state and government to intervene in the deadlock talks in a September 16th flagship speech. Now, this shows you, doesn't it? The whole idea that we get from some of that, and I do love the comments, but some people saying, oh, don't worry, no, the EU isn't panicking at all. What are you talking about? Well, EU leaders hoping that by stepping in to get the talks moving, it will help bridge deep divides between the two sides, according to this Telegraph report, allowing Barney and his UK opposite number, uh, David Frost, to agree the details. Now, this seems to be, as we approach of the, the end of the transition period at the end of this year, this seems to be a desperate move from the EU. I mean, Michel Barnier has been their chief negotiator all the way through. And as we come to the end of the negotiations, it seems to me the EU blinking. Boris Johnson uh, quoted yesterday as saying, we must make sure that people understand that at the end of the year, whatever happens, we are leaving the EU, leaving the transition period. We will get through this. It's absolutely vital, he says, that our partners understand that the UK is going to do what we need to do. If we have an Australia-style deal, an Australia-style solution, then that is what we will achieve and we will prosper mightily one way or the other. Boris goes on to say they could, of course, be sensible and give us a Canada-style solution, which, after all, they've given Canada, and I very much hope they will, but we're ready for either eventuality. So Boris there confirming that he... The government, keen, of course, for a sensible trade deal. But if the EU continue to obsess, uh, you know, obsessed on the level playing field and the UK signing up to EU rules, then it will be no deal. And as I said, those that have watched these videos will know the chances of no deal now set to be as high as 70%. So this is a very real possibility. I think the penny may have dropped now in Brussels that Boris Johnson's government is not Theresa May's pushovers. Very different approach and seemingly not willing to sign up to EU control moving forward. Now, the Mail have also uh, got a report on this. The EU Commission President, German Chancellor Angela Merkel, and President of the European Council, Charles Michel, seemingly set to lead talks for the EU. Uh, an EU diplomat had told The Telegraph, of course, that von der Leyen expected to set the scene to sideline Barnier and Frost to find a high-level political solution. Now, David Frost himself has commented. He said, here is the eighth round for our talks with the EU. Looking forward to welcoming Barnier and his team to London next week. Uh, he's Frost saying, Frosty the Nomad, we have scheduled lots of time for discussions and at, as we should at this point in the talks. However, the E, and this is the critical bit, Frost says that the EU still insists we change our positions on state aid and fisheries if there are to be substantive textual discussions on anything else. From the very beginning, we have been clear, Frost says, that about what we can accept in these areas which are fundamental to our status as an independent country. We will negotiate constructively, but the EU stance may realistically limit the progress we can make next week. Doesn't sound too optimistic there, does it, from the UK's main man, David Frost? Uh, a few reactions to this story on, on Michelle Barnier being sidelined. Ben Habib, businessman and former Brexit Party MEP, saying, please let this be true. It would be a major breakthrough. And Nigel Farage, you know, bear in mind, Nigel has seen it all when it comes to you. He, he knows how they, they operate better than anyone. Nigel saying, Barnier always cared more about Brussels and the EU project than companies and workers in the member states. His sidelining means common sense and a trade deal now have a real chance. So in Nigel's eyes, uh, Michel Barnet being sidelined uh, heightens the chance of a deal now being done. What do you think, guys? We'd love to hear what you think this means. What does it tell us about what's going on on the EU side, in your opinion? 
let me know in the comments below. And as ever, if you've enjoyed this report, please give the video a big thumbs up, click subscribe and the bell so you don't miss the next video. Thanks for watching.